All right, so this is for Oakley, another commercial example, and this is one of my favorite. I love it so much. It's the color pop is just so nice. And this is uh, Brian Smaller's signature. He is a company three colorist and does a really phenomenal job. And that's sort of his signature, like just tons of freaking color. He does not shy away from that. So I love that. So what I'm gonna do is just let's go and create that. I'm gonna bring my lift down, bring my gamma up, lift down, ga gamma up, and then start creating some contrast. And there's a lot of contrast in his image. So gamma up, gain up somewhere around here, more contrast somewhere around here, gamma up, gain down, Gamma up, gain down, and all right, for now, this contrast is looking good. Let's start adding color. I need a lot of separation to pull clean keys, so I think this is good. This will do it, and um, let's see. I think we can do a little bit more with contrast, but we'll do that in our later nodes. So for now, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull him. So let's create a key on him. And then let's go and see what we can do to make it really clean. And then uh, I'm gonna go here and see be fine here and then nope and then just give it a lot of blur that should do it and now I'm gonna pop her in and see what we can do to get there so I'm gonna take my gain and move it toward that red that he's adding into her skin and I think for our african-american gentleman it's gonna be somewhere around here where it's gonna look realistic and not too crazy. So I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then I'm gonna create a parallel node. And in that node, I'm gonna go ahead and select this guy, but I'm gonna show you again, we're gonna... All right, so one thing that's gonna be important here to know is that get the sky, get your primary balance right so like right now my highs are sitting right here but I want to match the blue I want to match one of the top things here because that's gonna come in handy when we're gonna be pulling keys so let's raise that and I'm gonna bring it somewhere around here and the contrast and everything is still looking good let's just make sure our key is looking good our key is good now we can come in here I'm gonna go ahead and qualify my sky. And then uh, it does a pretty good job as is, so I'm gonna leave it for now. And then I'm gonna go in and start dialing in my colors. I'm gonna be using my custom curves to really dial it in. And then I'm gonna go into my node key tab and I'm gonna start blending everything in. So just watch what I'm doing and try it for yourself too. I'm blending everything in. I'm gonna come into my sat versus sat and try to bring down the low saturated areas. Then I'm gonna go back and keep working at it until I'm getting pretty close. And I think we're starting to see it takes some shape. All 
All right, so it took a little bit to just get it in the ballpark, but I feel like finally we're getting somewhere. So now it's looking pretty good. So the thing that I really need to clean up here is I'm noticing there, look at this right here, and there's a lot of spillage that's happening. So I'm gonna do this and right there, we can see what's happening. So this area should not be selected. So I'm just gonna go in and do this. I'm gonna go in just like that, clean that up. And go in and just add some blending. And that's that. And then uh, let's come out of here and that's clean. So that's what we needed to do to really get rid of that spillage that was happening there. And now it's looking nice and clean and we're ready. And then one more thing that I want to do, let me just bring my image back up. And I'm going to do this. And one more thing that I want to do is I just want to give it a little bit more juice. So I'm going to use my color boost and see if that does anything. And I think it really does. Now, another thing that we just figured out what's happening is, which we actually don't see there. So let's do this. Oh no, it's fine. So let's turn this on. Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay, so if we bring, see, sometimes it does a weird thing when I go. Yeah, so that's really tripping out right now. So if I look right here, I can also see one more thing that it's just a little bit warmer than my image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gain and move it to that. Move it, to, move it, see, just a little bit towards green, yellow. And now it's adding that last touch. And I think that's looking really, really good. Now what I wanna do is obviously grain, go down, keep it here, give it a little bit. So that's our final. We can obviously go into our skin and just give it a little bit more red, like really exaggerate it. how it's exaggerated right here. I'm gonna pull it back just a little bit, open this up, put it right here, and then Yep. So that's our final image. And let's not forget to add sharpening. So I'm just gonna go right here and just do 47. Really, really adds that extra last touch. And that's it, we're calling it.